Hello everyone, welcome back to Shawcode. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make, use, and alter sets in Python. I have lots of experience in Python and by the end of this video you will have a really good understanding of what sets are and how to use them. Okay, so a set is another collection type. In the previous few videos we covered lists, tuples, and strings. Lists and tuples are collection types and so are sets. A set is a collection which is unordered and unindexed, and contains unique items. If you don't care about it being ordered, then you shouldn't use a list or a tuple. Sets don't allow for duplicates, because all of the items are unique. You usually use sets when you are working with large databases because they are changeable and unordered, and they are also optimised for checking whether a specific item is in the set. They don't have duplicates, so they are faster. Okay, I've just got open a uh, new file in idle, so let's create a set. So my set equals two curly brackets, hello, there, yes. And then we can print it out, my set, save it, and then if we run it, as you can see, it's not printed out in the order that we set it in. And also, if we wrote yes once more and printed it, we'd still get the same thing because they only have unique items, so you cannot have two of the exact same thing, so it's only printed out one yes here. So what we can learn from this is that they are unordered and each item is unique. Now let's talk about accessing items. Because sets are unordered, there is no way like lists or tuples to access them through their indexes because sets don't have indexes, so we can use the in operator to check if an item is in the set. So if we do if hello in set in my set print hello is in my set. And then as you, as you probably guessed it printed out hello is in my set because hello hello is in my set let's change this to something random it's not going to print out because this random string isn't in there okay now on to modifying sets because they are unordered there is no way to change the items with their index but you can add or remove items so to add items we use the add method like this my set dot add one, two, three. Print my set. And we get one, two, three. To add more than one item at once, we need to use the update method. So update. And then we need to use some square brackets. And then we do one, two, three. Four, five, six. Hello. Four, five, six. One, two, three. To remove items, we can either use the remove method like this. We could use a remove method or we could use something called the discard method. And there is a difference between the two, but I will show you. So if we remove hello. As you can see, there is no longer hello in the set. But if we decide to do that, it will give us an error because it can't find this string of text. But if we use discard with a random string of text, we don't get an error because what discard does is discard doesn't raise an error if it can't find an item, whereas remove rate, uh, gives us an error if it can't find the item. So you should only use the remove method if you are sure that the item is in the set. We could also use the pop method. Um, if you remember, back in the list video, we learnt about the pop method, and that usually removes an item depending on its index, but we don't actually have indexes with sets, so what we have to do is leave it blank. My set.pop and just leave it blank. And what this does is it'll just remove the final item of the set, so as you can see it's removed yes. So it's a short way of removing the last item from the set. Then we can use uh, the clear method completely empties the set and then what we can we could even do 
Dell my set and then as, as you can see we get an error because my set doesn't exist anymore it's been deleted by this Dell keyword right here as you probably guessed we can also get the length of the set using the length function so if we just do uh, print len my set it's gonna print out three because one two three it doesn't say four because yes and yes they're exactly the same thing, it just removes one of them, because every item has to be unique. As a quick side note, make sure you give this video a like if you are enjoying it so far, it really does help me out. It only takes two seconds and it doesn't cost anything. So to merge multiple sets together, we should use a union method, which returns a new set from the original two sets. So if we just make another set called set2 equals uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, or five six and then we do uh, new set equals my set dot union set two and then if we print new set my set and set two have been mixed together all into one set um, another way of doing this is the update method so we could just do my set dot update my set to update set to and then we need to print this out so print my set one single set with both the original set and the, and the second set mixed together okay to recap on, on all the set methods we have add adds an element to the set clear removes all the elements of the set discard removes a specified element with no error Remove removes a specified element and will raise an error if the, the element doesn't exist. Pop removes the last element from the set. Union returns a new set containing the values from two other sets. Update adds the content of one set to another set. And these aren't all the set methods, and there are too many to cover in this video. So you should look up a list of set methods on the internet. Make sure you leave a comment with a set method you found elsewhere that we didn't cover in this video. That way you are helping other people to learn. Okay, that's all for today, guys. Next video, we will be learning about dictionaries. They are the last collection type to cover, and they are quite complex, but you should be able to pick them up pretty easily. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you found it useful. It would really make my day. Also, consider subscribing. I post quality Python content almost every day. That's it from me. Cheers, and goodbye.